Hello, Mavic traders, and welcome out to your daily currency recap. Hope you had a good long weekend. It's time to get back in the routine and the swing of things. Let's take a look at broader market analysis today. Let's do a top down analysis, taking a look at what's happening overall, how did the currency baskets do, and then take a look at some possible setups ahead. Let's get into it. Disclaimer This video was created for professional stock and option traders. Maverick Trading is a proprietary trading firm that employs professional traders around the world. Our traders trade firm capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of profits they generate. All trades and analysis in this video are for professional traders only. If you are interested in becoming a professional trader for Maverick, click the apply button in the video description. Let's break down what happened today. As we jump into the market analysis, let's just jump right into the news of the day. And what do we have today? It was a quiet day in the markets across the board. If you take a look at currency market, take a look at the equity markets, it was just a quiet day. Not a whole lot happened. Uh, the bond yields in the U.S. continue to rise and we are seeing the USD holding steady. So that's pretty much it. So the narrative in the market hasn't changed. Now, if you take a look at the numbers here and the numbers were not as impressive, you can see uh, the best performer today was 0.25% uh, and the worst one was 0.11%. So really no opportunity today. And these are the days where you just want to stay on the sideline. You don't want to jump into the markets because there's not a whole lot of opportunity here. There are some trades that are working out. They're riding and they're great. Uh, but for, as far as the new opportunity goes, it was not a whole lot today. Now, you can look at that uh, across the board. Same thing in the S&P. It was a flat day. World stock index you know, also slightly negative, gold slightly higher. So it was not a major move moving day. Crypto slightly moved lower and oil moved higher. But uh, really, that's 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 pretty much it. If you take a look at the numbers in the crypto market, you can see Bitcoin Cash was the worst one. We like Ethereum, so just getting a bit of a pullback here. But overall, uh, seems like just a little dip in the crypto markets. Now, taking a look at the broader market analysis, where are we? We are at a plus two to plus three here. Again, moving the direction between plus one and plus two. Well, here where we are getting, we're getting the price action here. As we look in the S&P chart, we are in this little consolidation phase. So we broke out. And pretty much since we broke out, we are going sideways. So this is again, the, the direction remains bullish. The prior resistance level is now the support. So until we break this support, we won't be turning bearish. But this is where there's a better chance that it's just gathering the energy and it just breaks out higher. So just to realize that this is just a consolidation phase, the overall direction remains to the upside. Now, here's the schedule here. We are light on the week. Uh, starting next week, as we get start the beginning of June, we're going to have a lot of events to go through. So we are in this little final quiet period here, but we still have some uh, some news here and there, like the CPI out of the Australia tonight. So that's the one, especially if you're trading the Aussie crosses, pay attention to that one. Outside of that, it's not a whole lot of concern. Uh, we have some data coming on Thursday, but not a whole lot out of the U.S. until tomorrow and going to Thursday. So still then, it's just the best uh, idea is just to take a look at some continuation patterns as these some of the currencies are trending. So let's just jump into our currency analysis and see what the velocity scores are telling us. You can see the velocity was mostly in the middle here. It was not a whole lot of going on the price action wise. We have the yen continues to be in a minus two. Swiss franc has been a minus two, but it's catching a bear rally the short term. So pretty much if we take the Swiss franc out, nothing really has changed as far as the outlook goes. We have some strong currencies like the pound like the euro, they're just holding, they're just pulling back. So consolidation um, phase right now, and we'll see where the breakouts happen. So let's just jump into the possible trades ahead. Do you want to be a professional trader? Maverick Currencies is the oldest US-based Forex and crypto prop trading company that will pay you for trading with our capital. Trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of the profits. We are looking for traders just like you that are hardworking and motivated. Click the apply link on the top right of this video to see if you have what it takes. That link takes you to a four minute video that explains the trader position available and you read a list of FAQs that answer pretty much all the basic questions you have at this point. After watching the video and reading the FAQs, 
If you're interested, fill out an application, then you'll watch the full length recruiting video and then schedule an interview with one of our traders. Are you our next trader? And as we take a look at the possible trades ahead, let's just uh, jump right at the beginning in some of the pound crosses. So we are looking at pound against yen has been working out really well. You can see a four hour chart is just slowly rising higher, stair stepping. So I mean, we are um, above the to above this exponential moving average, which is again working out very nicely as a stop. So I think if it breaks that momentum until then, we just want to continue riding to the upside. This is again a four hour chart, but if you look at the daily chart, it looks like it's a runner. Since it broken out right here, this has been a nice run here. So pound yen again remains pretty uh, remains uh, a strong candidate here. We can also take a look at um, the Kiwi against the yen, which again is the second best currency, and you can see this thing is also rising higher. A bit of a pullback in the shorter term, um, as you can see the RSI is pulling back here. So perhaps we'll take a look at some of the correction pattern before we can jump on in this one. Outside of that, you can see the dollar yen is making a very nice high base pattern. This is again a four hour chart. So if you're looking for a, a breakout again, I think this is right on the cusp of that breakout. So this goes on the top of the list here as a, as a possible setup here has been consolidating for the last few days, pretty much since the last week, this has been consolidating. So usually the longer period of consolidation leads to some really good breakouts. So dollar yen again goes on the top of the list. So this is the one I really like. Pound yen also goes on the top of the list here. Outside of that, Kiwi, I think, just taking a little pause here. So I don't have a whole lot outside of that. I think those same trades are likely to return. Um, and until we really get a push around or some change in the markets, it's best to continue with that. Now, I had a question about the Swiss franc. Well, if you look at the Swiss franc in the shorter term, it's just catching a rally. But you can see that previously, all rallies are, are good shorting opportunities. So um, if you take a look at this one, pound Swiss franc. Uh, just pulling back here, I think shorter term is going sideways. And again, if we take a look at dollar says franc, um, this one again, especially if you want to stick with the dollar currency pair or not, dollar says franc just pulling back prior resistance is enough support, is bouncing nicely off of it. But it's stuck between that range 91 to 9150 to 9160. Really, that's really what we have going on here. But I think from a technical standpoint, the dollar yen looks the best. So in conclusion, we are looking at pounds, uh, the Aussie CPI tonight, but outside of that, we don't have a whole lot going on. And this is a period where you want to hold and steady and look for the next opportunity. If you're already in trades, you know, use, continue moving your stops and continue locking your profits and ride that momentum as long as you can. Uh, I still like yen to the downside and pound and keep it to the upside. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Happy trading.